Hey there, welcome to Jersey Jim Fish. Fishmonger Jim here. Uh, well, the the first part of this movie didn't didn't uh, didn't record. A tech ta tech challenge big time. But this is a uh, pickerel that I caught uh, two or three days ago. I'll put a link to that movie up here. It was a magical day. That was a magical day. I just got done work. I stink like fish. Not from this one. From the uh, uh, likely hundreds of pounds of other fish that I cut today. Hold on just a second. Oh, the well-deserved. So I still have the skin on this. I rinsed it off and then laid it on a newspaper to uh, get rid of it. They're slimy. Slimy, slimy fish, but they are delicious. If you run your finger along the fillet from shoulder to tail, you can feel the pin bones, and they seem to go up towards the shoulder, toward uh, further towards the tail. So this is a uh, twenty-three thirty-three Dexter Russell shad boning knife. If you get on the north side of that row of bones. like that and cut straight down I don't know authority on cutting these I've only ever cut uh, two well one successfully one when I was young and uh, the one that I cut when I was young was not at all boneless but the one I cut recently uh, it was delicious it was absolutely fantastic uh, texture like lobster, mild, white, lean. Well, maybe not lean. It's got a, it's got, I don't know. It's got a fair amount of, of oil to it. So, yeah, we cut straight down and then just followed the contour of these, uh, these Y bones out towards the skin. And if you notice, we're not cutting through the other side. And then we can go on the south side of that, making sure all these bones are well and truly separated like that. And as I made that cut, you follow along with your finger to open that, that, uh, that gap that you just made up. And then, vivil, vivil, vivil. Just follow. Oh, oh, I missed one. Did I miss? Yeah, I missed one. Did I miss one or many? I think I only missed one. Oh yeah, there we go. You come along underneath that that cut that we just made. Oh, I missed another. These things aren't, I mean, they're not too bad to cut. Right now I say that. Now when you make this cut back here, oh yeah, we got some tension back there. We got some clicking. You don't want clicking. I mean, you gotta cut back a little bit farther. I'm thinking maybe Maybe these things are like shad. And that, oh no, there, we're good there. That's all bones right there. That's all the Y bones. And then I would assume, well, maybe not. Do we have pin bones? I'm not, I'm not feeling any pin bones. Oh, I feel bone right there. Yeah, I'm curious. In theory, based on uh, experience I'm thinking maybe oh yeah they do 
They do. Check this out. So they have a... It's kind of like a shed. That's what I was thinking. I was really excited to get home today after cutting fish all day to, to cut this. Figure this out. It might be puzzling what I'm doing right here, but I'll explain it on the next one. Oh yeah, this is going to be absolutely, completely boneless. I've seen, like I said, I've, I've watched, well, you didn't hear it, because a tech, tech challenged. I watched, uh, well, I don't know, a couple of movies about how to, how to debone northern pike and there's a lot of like vague information about yeah there's some there's some bones back here but nobody could really explain oh it's just like a shed that's brilliant that's brilliant here, i'll move the board this way Nobody could really explain where these bones are. Are there bones there? Yeah, they run, they're only towards the tail. Here, let's see. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. I've been thinking about this and thinking about it as uh, I was completely laid up from from Unreasonable Fish Conquest the other day. That is a completely... I mean, I haven't eaten it, but yeah, that's boneless. All the tail bones, they're gone. That is a boneless pickerel filet. That is a delicious, delicious boneless pickerel filet right there. Uh, let's see. How can I explain this to you? So, if you run your finger along the filet from shoulder I'll move the board yeah, that'll work run your finger along the fillet from sh from uh you know like the head would be over that way towards the tail you can feel that row of bones the y bones so if you get your knife on the north side of that go straight down straight down just like that and then open it up with your finger and then follow that contour out if you feel clicking you're not doing something right okay so that we're not cutting through the other side we're leaving that loin attached beautiful beautiful i'm gonna turn this around oh because the camera's in my way wow does my back hurt and then we get on the, the south side of that row of y bones right there It is kind of like a, uh, it's kind of like a shad in bone structure. That's all bones right there. No bones in any of this. There's no pin bones that run down the, the center of the fillet. I got the rib bones out. Let's flip it around the other way and I'll show you. Oh, I'll try to explain what I was saying before. So there's the shoulder loin. There's all the bones. And these bones 
They continue towards the tail. Oh yeah, that's bones, Jim. I'll get on the uh, the north side of that. We'll run out that way. See that? And then I would assume they run on the... Oh yeah, they do. South side. Just a like of that, and then that's it. That's all the bones right there. That's brilliant. Now we're not done. So the Y bones in a shed. I don't think we're done. Let's find out. Oh, maybe we are. Yeah, I think that's... So if this was a shad, we'd be making a cut similar to that. Yeah, I feel a bone there. I feel some bone. I'm going to be cutting more of these, not for me, to give away. In fact, uh, Goyakle Redtail is going to receive this. He's asking me about it. Oh, it is just like a shad, almost. Almost kind of, sort of. Hmm. Very, very interesting. They go much higher in the pickerel than in a shad. Okay, so that is the tongue. Tail tongue. And you can see that this bone sticking up right here. Yeah, that that would explain it. That would explain it. I can't wait to get good at this and I can give you an actual proper pickerel filleting movie. But that is uh That's so shad like, it's awesome. Yeah, that's all bones right there. Maybe they're not bones, yeah, there's no bones up here, but towards the tail. That was part of the movies that I watched, like, wait, what's going on? That's it. I will, at some point in the near future, be able to give you a proper how to make a completely boneless pickerel filet. And that's pretty ugly. It's pretty ugly. Let's, let's, uh, I mean, it's pretty ugly because exploratory surgery, you know, could never look good. But I guarantee you that's, that's boneless. Koyakle will, uh, will comment on that and tell me how we did. It's a boneless pickerel fillet. Beautiful, beautiful boneless pickerel fillet. And that beast that's boneless too. Yeah, I'll be getting my knife into uh, a whole lot more of these in the near future. Want to give away friends and family because it is uh it is quite a delicious 
freshwater fish with the ex exception of the snakehead probably my my favorite freshwater freshwater fish but yeah that's it that's uh how to fillet well, I mean that's a rudimentary how to fillet a pickerel and make it completely boneless with um, a whole lot more figuring to do but I'm gonna figure it out and I will share it with you in the future I uh, thank you all for watching I'll have a wonderful day. Get the most out of each day, people. You never know when the last one's going to come. Buddy would agree with me. He absolutely engulfed the top water. Top water pickerel. Oh, it's so amazing. Very cool. I'm going to give this to uh, to uh, Tommy. A meal for maggots. I'll put a link to that movie up here as well. But, yeah, that's it. Go fuck your hat. Bye. It was a... Hell of an explosion right next to the kayak. Oh, he swallowed it. Oh, he's got teeth. He's got teeth. That's not Walter, but that's close. Oh, my word. I was just thinking, wow, I messed up by coming here today, but yeah, that just happened. That's a beauty. So I am going to be harvesting this fish as um, the other. Oh, he's got a. Got a sore on him, big time. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna harvest this fish and fillet it as the other one that I filleted and uh, cooked was absolutely phenomenal. I actually gave it away. I just had the little tiny piece that I microwaved, and in all likelihood, this guy's got a lot of hooks lodged in his in his mouth so oh, he's gonna flip I'm not gonna keep my thumb in there I just will get the pliers wow that was an amazing an amazing hit it's been about an hour and uh, the rain picked up quite a bit yeah, he might not make it anyway because uh, one of them is in his gill wow <laughs> that was awesome <laughs>